Hello everyone, I'm Adrija. Welcome back. So today I'm back with another quite interesting story. And this story is basically from our textbook. And when I read it, I actually enjoyed it a lot. So I would love to share this story with you. I'm sure that you will love it. So the name of the story is The Necklace. And it is about a woman named Matilda Loisel. And remember, there is a question at the end of this video to check your understanding. So please make sure to watch the entire video and answer the question in the comment box below. So without any delay, let's start with the story. So there was a woman, Mrs. Matilda Loisel, and she was very pretty, but she was born to a poor family, a family of clerks. And her husband was also a clerk. So they mostly lived in poverty. When she dreamed of all the riches, she dreamed of luxuries, delicacies, she was basically living in a small apartment with her husband. So days went on like this. She was simple, but she was unhappy. So this was Matilda Loisel. One day, her husband came back home quite excited. Matilda asked what happened. So her husband gave her an envelope and that envelope was actually an invitation, an invitation to a ball, to a party. And it was quite honorary for them. It was at the minister's residence and Mr. and Mrs. Loisel were invited there. But when Matilda looked at the invitation, her eyes grew sad. Her husband was confused. What happened? I thought you would be happy, but why are you sad? Matilda said that, what will I wear? I have no dress that is suitable for such a luxurious party like that. Then her husband suggested, you should wear the dress that you wear to the theater. It is really nice. I like it. But Matilda started crying and said that she would look like a beggar in front of all the rich ladies. Her husband grew sad by seeing Matilda's face. He asked, please tell me a suitable cost and I will give you the money. You can buy a dress if you want. Matilda soon grew happy and after thinking for a while, she said that probably 400 francs would be enough. After hearing this, her husband's face grew a little pale because 400 francs were a lot for them and her husband had been saving to buy a gun. Actually, he wanted to go hunting with his friends. Um, so he had been saving money, but he really wanted to give his wife the amount. So he said, yes, I will give you 400 francs, but please buy a suitable dress, a pretty one. So days went on and the ball came nearer. But Matilda was still not happy. Her husband asked her what happened. Matilda said with a sad face that she had no jewelry to wear, no ornaments. What did she wear with the gown? She would look so poor if she wore no ornaments with her gown. So her husband suggested that she should wear flowers. She said no, flowers would not look good. They would look poor. She needed a good necklace. Her husband suddenly got an idea. Actually, Matilda had a very rich friend, Mrs. Forrestale. And her husband suggested that probably she could lend her, I mean, Mrs. Forrestale could lend her a necklace just for one day. Matilda thought of this and the next day she went to Mrs. Forrestale's house. Mrs. Forrestale had no problem with it. She showed her all her ornaments, all her jewelries, and asked Matilda to pick one. Matilda saw them but still was not satisfied. She said, don't you have any other varieties? Then Mrs. Forrester said, look for yourself. You can take anything that you want. Matilda soon found a black box. And when she opened it, there was a beautiful diamond necklace shining. And she knew that this was the necklace that she wanted to wear. So she asked Mrs. Forrester if she could take it for one day. So Mrs. Forrester had no problem. She said yes. 
and then Matilda went home happily. The ball arrived and Matilda was one of the most gorgeous women you could see. With that gown and that necklace, she was beautiful and everyone looked at her. So the ball was pretty nice and they enjoyed a lot. It was 4 o'clock in the morning when they went home. So they had a pretty fun time there. So Mr. Loisel suggested that they should take a cab home. But they could not find any cab at that time. So they were walking down the street when they saw a carriage. So they booked that carriage and went home. After going home, when Matilda looked at the mirror to see her beautiful reflection, she suddenly uttered a cry. So uh, Mr. Lozel was confused. What happened? He asked. Then Matilda said that her diamond necklace was gone. It wasn't there. So they both were shocked. How is that possible? They had no idea. Well, Matilda could feel her necklace at the minister's house. So it was not possible that her necklace fell off there. So it must have fallen off in the carriage. So they all tried to remember the number of the carriage, but they couldn't. Her husband went out of the house to search if he could find it anywhere. And Matilda sat down, still in shock. She had no idea what to do. Her husband came back in dismay. He could not find the diamond necklace. So Matilda and her husband were both worried about what were they going to say to Mrs. Forestier. She had lent her necklace and Matilda had just lost it. So Mr. Loisel suggested that Matilda should write to her friend that a piece of the necklace was broken so she had given it to the repair shop so that would buy them some time Matilda did that and soon they started to search each and every jewelry shop to find a replica of that necklace finally in a shop they found it that looked exactly like that necklace but it was very very expensive the cost of the necklace was 40,000 francs and they could have it in 36,000 but it was still a lot. Mr. Loisel had only saved up 18,000 and the rest he started to borrow from each and everyone from lenders. He made promises that he would return them soon and soon they were in debt. Anyway, they bought that necklace with 36,000 francs and then Matilda went to Mrs. Forrester's home to give it back. But Mrs. Forrester did not open the box and see the necklace. Actually, Matilda was afraid. What if Mrs. Forrester understood that it wasn't her necklace at all? But she didn't open it. She just kept it in her closet. Matilda went home. But they were in debt now. They started live, living a horrible life because of the high amount of debt because they needed to give it back, right? So they sent away their maids. They had to leave their home and rent some apartment, not apartment, some rooms in the attic. And they started living a very miserable life and they grew poorer and poorer. Matilda used to do all of these odd jobs, you know, working at other people's house, working in the kitchen, washing dishes, cooking for them. And that is how they led their life. And after 10 years, their debt got completed. I mean, they could fully give their money back to the lenders. So now you couldn't recognize Mrs. Matilda Loisel. She looked very old. She didn't care about how her hair looked. She didn't wear such good clothes. So one couldn't recognize her at all. She often thought, what would her life be? If they had not lost the necklace, they would be living in that luxurious life because now that life looked a lot luxurious than this. So she always dreamed of living that same old life again. But now they were living in poverty. So one day, Mrs. Loisel was walking down the street and suddenly saw Mrs. Forestier. I mean, who was Mrs. Forestier? that lady her friend who had lent her the necklace so she saw mrs forestier and 
thought of going to her and tell her the entire truth. So she went to her. At first, Mrs. Forrester couldn't recognize her. She said, who are you? I'm sorry, I don't know you. But then Louisa said, it's me, Matilda. And then Mrs. Forrester was shocked. What happened to you, Matilda? How have you changed? What is all this? Matilda said, yes, we have been through tough times. And you know, it is all because of you. Mrs. Forrester was shocked. How is it because of me? Matilda said, remember that diamond necklace that I borrowed from you? Mrs. Forrester said, yes. Matilda said, I actually lost it. Then Mrs. Forrester was confused. She asked, how is that possible? Because Matilda had returned it to her. Then Matilda said that she had actually lost the necklace that night. And then they had to find a replica of that necklace. And that costed them a fortune. And for that, they were in high debt. And that is why they are living this miserable life now. But Matilda said with a sad face that the debt is finished and she is really okay with her life. Mrs. Forrester had a confused face. She asked, did you just say you bought a diamond necklace to replace mine? M Matilda said, yes, you have received it, right? Then Mrs. Forrester smiled and took Matilda's hand and said, dear, my necklace was fake. They weren't real diamonds. They were not even worth over 500 francs. So this is the story. So basically the ending says that the diamond necklace that Matilda had borrowed from Mrs. Forrester wasn't actually a diamond necklace at all. They were fake diamonds and the necklaces that doesn't cost a lot. So her necklace was just 500 francs, Mrs. Forrester's. But to replace it, Matilda bought a real diamond necklace for 40,000 francs. So this is a story about how that necklace changed Mr. and Mrs. Lois's life forever. And a quite interesting story with a twisting ending. And I'm sure that you loved it. Now is the time for the question. The question is, how much money did Matilda ask for a new dress from her husband? So this is the question and please make sure to answer it in the comment box below. I'd be excited to see your answers. So this was for today. I hope you liked the story. If you liked it, click on the like button and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more such interesting stories. So that's it for today. Meet you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.